Good morning, this is Bobby from tabletcrunch.com. Hope that you are having a great morning this morning. Wanted to get this video out as quickly as I could. Had some people in the comments last night tell me that they've actually tried a combination of two of the fixes I've been writing about and it's been working really well for their iPhone and their iPad getting back onto the Wi-Fi, uh, onto their Wi-Fi network. And um, again, I've mentioned this before, uh, but the Wi-Fi problems people tend to be having are associated with the wireless networks that they were on when they upgraded their device to iOS 6. Um, so, but this fix in particular is a fix that could, it could possibly solve any Wi-Fi issues that you're having on any network, on any network um, not necessarily the one that you just upgraded to iOS 6 on. Um, and I also think that this can be applicable to all uh, mobile devices, even Android, you know, your Android phone, um, Android tablets, a Kindle Fire, for example. Uh, although the steps will be a little bit different because on Android devices, your network settings, um, you get to them in a much different way than you would on a uh, iOS device. But from a procedural standpoint, the exact same thing. So, so check this out. So uh, number one, what you want to do is, of course, reset the wireless router that you're on. Um, you, can, you can see on the blog I've written and, and in this article that this video is on, I've put a link to it. Um, a couple of reset um, things to consider. You can either, number one, reset your entire wireless network. And that's usually done by pushing a reset button that's underneath or on the back side of your wireless router. Or number two, just log into your wireless router and reset the security settings. People have told me that both have worked. I personally would recommend you just reset your wireless router completely. After you've reset your wireless router, then number two, and this is what people have been telling me that have been working, this is the combination of the two fixes. Number two, after you've set, after you've reset your wireless router, now come into your iPhone or your iPad or your, 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 your mobile device and reset the network settings. Okay, so, and that makes a lot of sense to me. It's kind of like with a computer or a PC or a laptop that you're having problems with on the wireless network. If you reset the wireless, uh, the, the wireless network, then you'll come back in. And especially on uh, Windows Vista and Windows 7, you have to actually delete the old wireless network name, even though it might be called the exact same thing, you have to delete it and kind of let your, your uh, wireless card pick it up fresh on the new reset um, DNSs and name servers and IP address. So same thing with your iPhone. So number one, reset your wireless router. Number two, reset the network settings on your iPhone or your iPad or on your Android device, Kindle Fire, whatever the case may be. But I'm gonna show you real quick here on um, my wife's iPhone how to reset those network settings. Again, after you've reset your wireless router, this is what you try. So check this out. Okay, here's my wife's iPhone, uh, the pink case. And there's our family here real quick. Let's see. I know the lighting's real bad, focus kind of in and out, but here the uh, very familiar home screen of the iPhone. Uh, same settings icon right here that you'll have in your iPad. Okay, so first what we want to do is uh, tap your settings. This is kind of weird doing it while filming. Uh, and this will be the next screen that comes up. I want you to tap general. Okay, and then once general comes up, you're going to have to scroll all the way down to the bottom here and hit reset. And then right here in the middle of the screen, you see Reset Network Settings. This is the only one of all the options I want you to focus on right here. Reset Network Settings. And then you'll get this little red icon that comes up. Are you sure you want to do this? And we're going to hit yes. Reset. And now you're going to see your device, your iPhone or your iPad. It's going to go through this sequence. Basically what it's doing, it's hard rebooting. Um, and here you go, you'll see that Apple icon, uh, this little spinning thing will happen, and then the device is eventually going to shut off completely. And then it will turn back on completely. And this takes a while. This is, um, you know, a, a minute, half a minute, 45 second process. Um, and here you go, it just shut off completely. And again, we're doing this, we're doing these steps after we've reset the wireless router. Um, and again, what we've seen people, the, the feedback we, we've gotten from people is that the problems are on the wireless 
network that you've upgraded or that they've upgraded their iPhone or their iPad to iOS 6 on. Um, so, you know, we, we, we've reset the wireless router and now we're here resetting the network settings on the iPhone or the iPad. Again, the same exact process on both devices. And right now we're just waiting for the iPhone to um, power back on completely. You'll see this glowing Apple and here we go. Um, now that we are back on completely, now what we need to do, you can see right now we're just on 3G. Um, of course, what we do need to do now is now connect to the wireless router. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And I know the lighting's really bad. One day I need to upgrade my video capabilities here. Okay, so we went, we turned it on. If you didn't see what I did here, I, I turned it on, I went to settings, of course, and then here is Wi-Fi. Now I wanna get on the wireless router or the wireless network that I was having problems with and we should be able to connect just fine because again we've reset the wireless router and we've reset the network settings on our iPhone in that order and here is our um, network at our house and of course the password hang on I gotta type this in And I got my join, hit that, and um, here we go. And it's searching, it sees it, and boom, I'm back online. So um, that's it. So try that step and try try those steps, resetting the wireless router, and then resetting the network settings on your iPhone or your iPad, and let me know how that goes in the comments. All right, thanks for watching, and this is Bobby with tabletcrunch.com.